Let's start with a quick challenge. What season is it in Boston for the Earth you see here? Right on! It's summer in Boston! An easy way to tell is that the northern axis is tilted into the daylight side of the Earth, which means the cities and countries of the northern hemisphere will get more direct sunlight and longer daytime hours. It's incredibly important for you to remember that we only get these seasons because the Earth's axis is tilted. What would it look like if the Earth weren't tilted? Well, pretty much like this. The rotation axis would point straight up and down, evenly splitting the line that divides day and night, or the terminator line if you want to get fancy. However, because of the 23 degree tilt of the axis, during the northern hemisphere summer, the northern axis is tipped into the sunlight. This is why northern hemisphere places get more hours of daylight during the northern hemisphere summer. Now, I know you're thinking you'd like to see this from overhead, and I get it. I want to see it from overhead, too. But before that, I want to remind you of something. The Earth is always tilted in the same direction. Throughout all four seasons of the year, the North Pole always points towards the North Star, Polaris. You might even be able to guess how the North Star got its name Polaris, which starts with the word polar. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah! Let's take a peek at the planet from overhead, so you can see what it looks like as Boston rotates in and out of daylight. This circle represents the path Boston takes through a 24-hour day. As you can see, most of this circle falls into daylight, approximately 15 hours in fact. Only 9 hours are spent in the darkness, back here. Let's go back to that untilted Earth for a second. So what happens in winter? During the Northern Hemisphere winter, the Northern Axis is tipped into the dark side of the planet. This shows why people in the Northern Hemisphere get fewer hours of daylight, and when they do, it's much less intense. And if we look down at the Earth from above again, You'll see that Boston spends much more of its rotation in darkness than in daylight. Just about 15 hours in darkness, and only 9 in daylight. It's the untilted Earth again. Northern and Southern Axis splitting the Terminator. Now let's look at what happens during fall when we factor in the tilt of the axis. You saw in the summer that the northern rotation axis tilts into the daylight side of Earth, and in the winter, the axis tilts away from the daylight side of Earth. Well, in the fall, the rotation axis tilts right along the terminator line, and doesn't tilt either toward or away from the daylight side of Earth. So anyway, this is the fall Earth. Sunlight is coming from the right, and the axis is falling right along the terminator line. So if we look at this Earth from above, we'll see that the path through a day is evenly split, 12 hours in the sunlight and 12 hours in the darkness. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Here's Earth, and Boston is the big red dot. Will Boston spend more time in daylight, less time, or will the time be equal?
Correct. Boston spends less time in daylight than in nighttime. Let me ask you a follow-up question. What season is it in Boston? Exactly, it's winter, because the northern axis is tilted away from the daylight. Let's change Earth's state. This time, looking at this Earth, will Boston spend more time in daylight, less time, or will the time be equal? That's right. It looks like Boston will spend nearly two-thirds of its day in sunlight on this date. So what season do you think it is in Boston, then? For sure. The rotation axis is tipped far into the daylight, so it is summer in Boston. Just a couple more questions. Looking at this Earth, will Boston spend more time in daylight, less time, or will the time be equal? Exactly! It looks like Boston will spend the exact same amount of time in daylight and nighttime on this date. Twelve hours apiece. And if day and night are both twelve hours, what season do you think this might be in Boston? You got it. It's fall. And on September 21st, the lengths of daytime and nighttime are almost exactly the same. 